What's going on everybody and welcome back to another edition of Knights TV. Kyle Gamard joined alongside Leanne Whitehouse and Leanne, six games to go yes. over over these last couple of weeks. A lot of goals, a lot of big saves, and a lot of positives for the London Knights. So let's get right into it. Yes, the London Knights started things on the road with their rescheduled game against the Niagara Ice Dogs. This was postponed earlier in the season, but that didn't stop the Knights from sailing on into their ninth straight win with a final score of five to two. Jonathan Gruden put up an incredible goal and three assists and from Knights defenseman Ryan Merkley with three assists throughout the game and Hunter Skinner with a goal and an assist on the back end. The Knights then returned home in Friday's game against the Saginaw Spirit, what was a contest of two of the top teams heading into it. And London prevailed victorious with their 10th consecutive victory in honestly very convincing fashion, a 7-3 win. Now Liam Pudi scored the game winner in this one, but a Knights defenseman chipped in with an insurance marker. Uh, NHL selection draft coming up, he's rated 58 right now, poke free by Stecklock. Here's Krill Stecklock pushing it ahead, Stecklock! Kirill Sekloff showing off his soft hands in front of the net for his second of the season, and he was just one of seven Knights players to have multi-point efforts in this one. An awesome game from everybody all around. Absolutely. The Knights then took on the Guelph Storm, an unfortunate loss, losing 3-1, to one, but the night was incredible at Budweiser Gardens. Ahead of the game, the Knights inducted their second class into the Don Brankley London Knights Hall of Fame, including Gary Younger, Reg Thomas, Brian Bradley. Along with Chris Kelly, Dylan Hunter, and John McDonald were the six members inducted that night. But it didn't take long for the London Knights to get back in the win column. They then hit the ice, taking on the Kitchener Rangers with a massive final score of 6-3. to three. Yeah, and you know what, Leanne? This one had a very playoff-like atmosphere to it right from the get-go. It was very fast-paced. Defenseman Alec Regula chipped in with two goals and an assist, including the game winner. And I had a chance to talk with him afterwards about that playoff atmosphere. Yeah, I think uh, it's just it's a pretty good rivalry there. You know, we're not too far from each other. And the last time they were here, they beat us pretty good, I think. And... Uh, you know, we have our we had our full team now for this game, so it was a it was a really good test to to see who uh, I guess was going to come out on top, and we played really well. The Knights continued their winning ways when they headed to Kingston to take on the Frontenacs. It was an exciting game. It was back and forth throughout the entire game, and we had a massive game from Luke Evangelista putting up two goals and an assist. Also, Stranges, Phillips, and Foodie with a goal and an assist, and Dylan Miskey with a huge win in net in the game. And while the London Knights capped off the family day long weekend with a matchup on the road against the Ottawa 67s, it was two of the top teams from each conference going at it and London prevailing with a 4-2 victory. Brett Brochu was spectacular in this one, turning aside 43 shots. That is a career high for him. He was unbelievable all night long. He faced 22 alone in the first period, Leanne. Now, as the scoring goes, Liam Foody and Jonathan Gruden leading the way, scoring for the Knights in this one. And Jonathan Gruden has been on a terribly 18 points in his last 13 games. And speaking of Foodie, we have to give a big congratulations to him. He made his NHL debut with the Columbus Blue Jackets on an emergency basis, playing two games, and in his second game, he clocked 18 minutes on the ice and even got an point with an assist. Well, an awesome job from Liam Foodie in the National Hockey League and an awesome job for the London Knights over the last 20 games. They have won 18 since that stretch. It has been remarkable seeing them go on that. Now the Knights do play a couple of games on the road before heading home. They started off in Windsor on Thursday before a home and home against the Gulf Storm which would be capped off the following Wednesday. They then stay at home taking on the Sioux Greyhounds and will cap off the weekend with a road game against the Erie Otters. For Knights TV, I'm Leanne Whitehouse. And I'm Kyle Gamarin.